doing guys? We're on the other lake now at La Croix de Vupont and this one's a boating lake. So it's just there behind me. It's nice and quiet at the minute but it gets pretty chaotic when the boats are out. You need to make sure you're using bat leads otherwise just get wiped out for fun on here. But we spent the past two days fishing the other lake so the video is up for that one. I get confused between the top and the bottom lake because everyone calls it different things. We've just been calling it the top lake. But yeah, I'll document what happens on here. Hopefully show you some fish. from the boat in lake a little seven pound common came on a pva bag again it literally been only out five minutes so hopefully that's a sign of another busy day for us i'm fishing on the right hand side of the peg and alex has got the left so yeah hopefully we can have a lot of fish between us Fish number two, a little 10 pound common on the method feeder. Fish number three, a little 10 pound common. Bolts are out now, so we've got the bat leads on. So this was the second of that double take, fish number five, 15 pound common. Fish number six, an 11 pound common caught in the method. It did go quiet, but they've started biting again now. So 
we're back on the Bolton Lake now for day two. I'll show you the swim we're fishing. On the pegs on the far end, down where the boats are. And years ago, there used to be an island there. Now there's just four wooden barriers, which must protect the stumps, which are all there still. I'll, I'll like to say all the trees have gone now, but there used to be like loads of trees in an island there. But yeah, it's about four foot of water out in front of me. So we just started off on the solid bags again. That seems to be a, the best tactic on here, just fishing on the bottom. You do see the odd ones cruising around on the top, but you're not allowed to float a fish. You're allowed one single floating hook bait. But to get them really competing, you need to be firing in plenty of mixes and you're not allowed to do that. But yeah, we'll keep you updated. First common of the day, a 16 pounder. Fish number two, another 15 pound common. We had the two quick bites and then it's just gone quiet. So I'm going to try and do a bit of zigging. Just made up a sloppy zig mix and then set the right hand rod on the zig one foot onto the surface and we'll just keep spamming in every 10 minutes keep a cloud going in the water three on the zig it's going to be crazy that's been out five minutes and this is the third run the first two are lost but i got this one so yeah we have cracked it now might be the last day we're here but Slap his eggs on the surface today is going to work. This little guy is fish number four, another seven pound common. This one was off the bottom, I came up on the solid bag and I was about to put both onto the zigs. But yeah, it's, it's gone. Alex I just had one on his zig, a 19 pounder. His first fish on a zig. Fish number five and the first mirror. A 16 pound again on the zig. <laughs> seen the mirrors come out because all we had been catching is common so this one's well lovely again on the zig <laughs> fish number seven a 16 pound common this one came on the bag in between having my zig in number eight another long 12 pound common these have all got so much fight in them it's untrue they scrap like mad in the water and then you get them on the bank and they, they batter you as well but they're all just coming on black foam and a black aligner and they're just one foot under the surface fish number nine Another one on the zig, an 11 pound common. It's crazy how fast these are coming. I'll cast out and I'll stick you by the rod and watch how fast the bike comes.
compound coming. Look how long it is. It just clearly spawned out. But yeah, this will be a 20 pounder at another time of the year. Common again on a zig. It did go quiet for a couple of hours, but we've got one. So that's it for the boating lake. I've had a good session again today. I think I prefer the, the top lake to be honest. The fish seem in a lot better condition and it's much quieter. It gets quite busy on here with the park just behind and the, the kiosk and all the boats. So it's a bit more like fishing back at home down on that bottom one. No monsters have come out. The biggest we've had while we've been here is a 27 and a half and then we've had a few back up 26 pounders but nothing like what we've seen on the Facebook groups and we have caught loads of fish. But yeah, it's been a really good session and if they do come back I'll be getting on the zigs again on here.